Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can get Microsoft Office entirely for free if you're a student or if you're an educator, let's say a teacher or a faculty member. And when I say get Office for free, what I mean is you could use both the web apps and the desktop apps that you can install on your computer, whether you're using a Windows device, a Mac device, you could get Office for free. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee and I'm gonna show you what I work on. All right, well, let's jump to it. Here I am on my PC and what we're gonna do is I wanna search for Office Free for Students. Now this is gonna help us get to the website that'll let us get Office for free. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for that. And one of the, the top results here is the student discount for Microsoft Office. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Get Started. What that's gonna do is that's gonna bring me to this website. I also have it open here. Um, if you'd prefer, you could also just type in the URL. I've also included it in the description. I've also included it in the comments. So you could also just click on that to navigate to this website. So what you can do on this website is there's something called Office 365 Education. Now what will happen is many different educational institutions will sign a contract with Microsoft that allows all of their students, faculty, teachers, anyone to be able to use Office for free. The school pays for it, students simply get access to it. So how do we do it? Well, it says get started with Office 365 for free. And so what they want you to do is if, you're, uh, if your institution is part of this program, what you do is you enter your school email address um, so here I have my college email address at uh, University of Michigan and um, I simply click on get started. Once you click on get started, that'll bring you to a form where you fill out your name, uh, you fill out your date of birth, and then you also have to enter a verification code. And so why do they do that? Well, they actually wanna confirm that you do in fact go to that educational institution. Uh, so what'll happen is in your email, you should, get a, you should receive something that looks like this, that has your verification code, and then you'll enter it in and that confirms that you have access to uh, Office 365 Education. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on Get Started. And I've actually already gone through this flow. I answered all that information. Uh, so I'm gonna just click on OK, got it. Now what that'll do is that's gonna drop me on a website called office.com. And here on office.com, uh, I get my first run experience. Here it's telling me that I have access to the Office 365 apps, great. And I also have this app launcher. So let's take a quick look. So what I can do on office.com, here I could create a new Word document, an Excel workbook, a PowerPoint presentation. I also have access to all of the web apps right here. So I could use, let's say if I click on Word, here I could use Word for free online. But let's say that I wanna install the apps on my computer. What I could do is there's this big button up here that says Install Office. So if I click on Install Office, I could click on Office 365 Apps. And so what'll happen is it kicks off a download process right here, and then I could go and install Office. I've already done that, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Word. Once you install Office on your machine, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your name up here in the top right hand corner, and then you're gonna sign in with your EDU account. So I would type in my EDU account here, I'd go through, type in my uh, password as well, and then this version of Office, because it's tied to your education account, you can then use all the apps installed on your computer entirely for free, your school covers it for you. So what's nice is you could use either the web apps entirely for free, or you could use the apps that you install on your computer entirely for free uh, using this process. Now, what if what if you go through and you know, you're on this site, you type in your EDU email address, and unfortunately your school does not participate in this, but you still wanna use Office for free. Don't despair, there is a way that you could still use Office for free, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what you do is if your uh, educational institution is not participating in this, what I'm gonna do is open up another browser and you're gonna head to the website office.com. Office is uh, where we're gonna go to be able to use Office for free. Now you'll see two different links on here. One of them is Get Office and the other one is Sign In. If you click on Get Office like I just did, what that'll do is that'll land on a marketing website where you can buy Office uh, to install on your machine. Uh, you have two different subscription options and then you also have a version where you could just pay one time. The benefit of doing that is you could use Office and you could install it on your computer. However, if you don't wanna pay money and you just want it for free, what you could do is you click on the sign in button. Anyone can click on this and you could log in with an existing Microsoft account or what you could do is if you don't already have an account, you could simply create a new one for free. What I'm gonna do is I already have an existing account, so I'm gonna go ahead and type it in here.
and then I'm gonna type in my password, and what'll happen is I land on office.com. And what I could do here is I can now use all of the web apps entirely for free, and this, this, this works whether you're a student or even if you're not a student, anyone could use this to get Office for free. One of the things you'll notice though is if I click on install Office, I have to go premium if I wanna be able to install Office on my computer. However, if I just wanna use Office online, here I'm gonna click into a new blank document, I can do that. So as long as I have an internet connection, I'm able to use Office. So that's how you could get Office entirely for free if you're a student, a teacher, a faculty member of an educational institution and your educational institution has an agreement with Microsoft. But even if your educational institution does not have an agreement with Microsoft, you're still able to use the web apps entirely for free by going to office.com. And the web apps are pretty good. Um, in terms of functionality, it might not have every single thing that the desktop apps have and you don't have uh, offline access. However, they're constantly getting Getting better there's more functionality that's constantly being added uh, to the web apps and if there's something that you're looking for that's not included there's this give feedback to Microsoft button and you could always request functionality if something you need is not there um, so they're getting better and better um, every single day I hope this helped you uh, get office if you're a student. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there's anything else you wanna learn, anything else you want me to cover on my channel, uh, leave a comment down below. I read all of them and I'll add the idea to my list of videos to create in the future. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Hope to see you next time, bye.